Today I'm going to show you how to actually write a DAX that shows you um, sales trend or revenue trend as you want it. So now you might have like different products in your store and you want to know how those products are doing quarterly, monthly or yearly, even daily. So you can just write a simple DAX to help you do that. So without further ado, let's just go straight into that. So all the first thing you have to do is to select this, select matrix. When you select matrix, you come to what? To your calendar table. I have an I have an input. I uh, sorry, I have a custom uh, one build. So if you want to know how to build this custom uh, table, just leave a comment. I'm gonna share a link to you on how to just do that. Now I'm going to choose my physical period. Then the next I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna have this one closed down. Then go towards this one and actually choose region. Choose region. So the next thing I should choose now is the tax I wrote that actually calculates the trend for me. But I don't have that right now, so we're going to build that and drag it to our value. So you can go to F cells right here, right click and click on new measure. So clicking on new measure, you can just give it a name you feel like that you're okay with. Then you actually drag it after you might have created it down to the value. It will help you just to create that itself without any delay. So now we have to name our uh, our measure quarterly quarterly revenue trends quarterly revenue trends. Then we have to calculate it by dividing dividing the total revenue we actually made total revenue with comma then hit enter and calculate the total revenue as well calculate total revenue then comma then hit enter and date add we're going to use that date add then now we're going to slot in the date table we have i told you i have a custom date table right so we just click on the name of the table then we click it this calendar date then comma minus one then comma i need it to be quarterly the interval is just going to be quarter then i hit that then i close it up then comma zero and close and finally we give it minus one then we hit enter this is all we need to do this is all the dax we need to write to actually get the calculation out of it so power bi is going to help us with the remaining one so now the next thing you see to you is not going to make a lot of sense so let me just drag it down there you can just click on it and it comes down to value wow it doesn't make sense right forget it it's gonna make sense in a little while so now i can just click on this very sign percentage then we add percentage is gonna make a little bit sense but not a complete sense so let's see what it gives us okay fine this is what we have to me it doesn't make a lot of sense because we cannot read this so we have to get what we can read right so what we need to do is just to come to the value, right click and go to conditional formatting, then choose the tabers. Now, when you choose the tabers, you have to give the negative aspect, give it red. I'm going to give it the very deep red. Then you click OK. So the positive part of it is going to, going to take um, blue, while the negative part is going to take red. You can see this. Before we go any further, let me just add date so that we can just drill it down by date. I'm going to I'm going to open the calendar, then choose on what choose an year, choose a year and add it as a slicer. So I'm gonna add it as a slicer. I'm gonna bring it this way. So I don't need it to be this, I want it to be list. Then choose the list. Here we go. So I'm going to drag it down. 
so drag it down make it smaller so now this is what we have now let us see it by that makes it some kind of hierarchical that is from the from the from maximum to the minimum one so we have to sort it by what sort it by quarterly revenue trends so the maximum one is going to come up right now that is what it is now here we have it now we have europe all of the re all of the regions from the top one down to the last one carries negative so this is because the sales in this very quarter is not very very you know some kind of encouraging so if you go to europe now and we analyze this first quarter of 2015 we see that it went up by 14 percent by 4.14 percent and it went up again by 0.83 percent then it went down by 1.9 percent down by 7.43 percent now you can see how this country is doing in terms of sales it goes up goes down goes up goes down that is how it actually goes now if we check 2016 right now it's going to show us something different right not really different so this is what it gives us minus 7.33 the high percentage that it used to go down low now it actually went low again in this very quarter in this quarter it went very very high which is by 1.70 percent and much higher by 2.13 percent you can see the total so that is all about it so now let us analyze it by month yeah let us use month to analyze this and see what the sales is actually talking about by month now all we need to do is just to copy this copy Control c and Control v you copy and you paste it down then all you need to do is just to drag this down here so when you drag it click on it then you click on it you go to sales click on sales sales would have to open for us so when sales open so all we need to do is just to copy the formula click on sales Sorry. so we copy the formula by clicking this we go and copy the DAX formula from what from here From here, I'm going to home, copy, I've copied it, then go back here and click, right click on it, so when you right click, you have to create a new measure, create new measure, then when you create new measure, you don't have to write any full formula. So all you have to do is just to drop this one and change the name from quarterly revenue to monthly revenue trend. That is all you need to do. So now I'm going to drop this right here. Control V will help us with that. So now I'm going to change this from quarterly to monthly. It's going to be monthly revenue. Now here is what we need to change that is this will going to make our, our formula to actually work so just take it off and make it by what by month so let the interval be month then you hit enter so look at here it's going to change the measure to monthly revenue trends right now so once it changes you have to drag it to a value and change the former one that you have there so that is all you just need to do and you can now analyze for that what actually the month is talking about so that is this all we need to do we have to drag this so we have to drag this down to here something's wrong so i'm taking this one off so monthly revenue drag it to this now that we have it we cannot analyze further <coughs> so now it's not good for analysis right now all we need to do is just to click on it and go to modeling then click on percentage 
the percentage is going to come up i need to make a little sense now for it to make a full sense all we need to do is just to click on this very now click on this So as soon as it comes up, we go to conditional formatting and add our conditional formatting. Now it makes a little sense right now. Now click on this right now, then go to conditional formatting, then uh, add data, data bus. So now once data bus comes up, we add red. This time around, I'm going to add different red, not that very red though. So now we can see. In 2016, the first quarter of 24 or 2015, this is how it actually went. You can see the data bar is showing how you know down it is. So now you can see what we have right here. It actually went down by 3.33, it went down by 0.48, it actually goes up by 7 uh, 0.73, and it's all about it. So this is how you can actually analyze sales by trend how it goes up and how it comes down and all of that so thank you very much for watching i look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial please if you need to know how to how i created my date or uh, table my custom date leave a comment i'm gonna just share a link to you on how i just did that it's very simple or you can just cite my channel i have it right on my channel and you can just watch and learn it is a very simple way of actually creating table so please do subscribe to my channel and actually share and support this very uh, channel to grow thank you very much for watching i appreciate